All right, happening here this morning, if you are looking for a great lineup of entertaining and inspiring artists this spring and summer, our friends at Newport Live, they have you covered with a full schedule of events you will not want to miss. And joining us here this morning, we told you he was cool. Trust me, he is. <laughs> with a look at some of their upcoming highlights is Newport Live's Executive Director, Dick Lynn. Good morning. Good morning, Brendan. <laughs> Thank you for the introduction. I, like I said, I don't think I can improv... Um, Top your improv team, though. <laughs> well, we try our best, and I know you and your team are doing a pretty darn good job yourselves at planning this year's schedule of upcoming events. We've been working. We've been chatting over email about what you have coming up, so we want to get right to it, Dick, because it's a stellar lineup. First of all, you are celebrating the 30th anniversary of Freedom Day in South Africa with some world-class artists, aren't you? Absolutely. How's this working? Well, you know, I have a friend at Lincoln Center Jazz from South Africa, and he called me during the year and said, you know, this is the 30th anniversary you're bringing an artist over from South Africa could you do it and we're doing a series of four artists all world-class and it all kicks off on April 20th right April 20th with Mandela Mulangini fantastic now what do we need to know about this artist well Mandela is a, a Standard Bank award winner which is a prestigious South African award he uh, composes with the uh, Johannesburg uh, Opera okay and uh, is just world-class uh, uh, trumpet which is just tremendous. You watch these musicians, these artists in action, and it is nothing short of inspiring. And then on May 18th, you have your next one, right? Sia Charles, a young woman trombonist. Uh, she's also the ambassador internationally for the Juilliard School of Music. Tremendous. Then June 21st? June 21st Melody is a duo, Schultz. Melanie Schultz and Aaron Rambui, uh, both, uh, again, uh, Standard Bank Award winners. Uh, Melanie also sings with the Lincoln Center jazz orchestra and as uh, world renowned. And then wrapping this particular series up on August 9th, correct? With yes. uh, Nalidi Masilio? Nalidi Masil. Okay. And she will be at the Norman Bird Sanctuary and Nalidi was uh, mentored by Dee Dee Bridgewater among others. And for you, just getting to, I, I would think it's exciting for you to put these events on, but maybe getting to know these artists a little bit as well must be thrilling. It's, it's great. And you know, you get to know them by talking to them prior to the show. Some hang out a, a day or so after if they're not on, on a tough tour. But sure. Yeah. Sometimes great. they're in and out. Yeah. Yeah. Town. Now, moving on beyond that uh, South African series, we can look forward to the fourth annual outdoor series at Norman Bird Sanctuary. This is fun, isn't it? It's been great. You know, we started this during COVID because there was no way for people to see shows, right. and all of a sudden we're on our fourth annual uh, series. This is great, and that one kicks off on July 11th, correct, with Elisa Am Amador? Elisa Amador. Okay. Elisa is a uh, Venezuelan American, and she won the Tiny Desk Concert of the Year Award. That's right, and that, that is such a cool thing, and people will have the opportunity to really experience what she's all about, which is so much fun. Yeah, she's wonderful. And then the second one, August 9th? August 9th is part of the South African series. That's the lady. Okay, and, and that's right, which is taking place at so, the sanctuary. Yeah, so you'll see, see her then, and that should be an amazing show. She's bringing a band. Love that. And wrapping up on August 23rd, I can't massacre this name, Alexa Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa Rose was described by NPR as sounding a little bit like a, a cross between uh, Bob Dylan and Dolly Parton. Awesome. What's not to love there? And let's talk uh, tickets to these events, Dick, if someone wants to come out to experience something. The easiest way is to go to our website at newportlive.org, and there's a concerts page. Awesome. And beyond these two aforementioned series, I know there are just an abundance of opportunities for people to experience your events this season. Oh, we go on throughout the year. We go indoors. We work with partners at the Newport Art Museum at the Jamestown Art Center. We have some outdoor venues that we're developing now, a couple new ones. And uh, we continue on with Wesley Mace, and we're looking at uh, doing some co-curation with Arturo O'Farro and his Afro-Latin Jazz Alliance of Harlem. Love that. And there really is such a vibrant uh, arts community in the city by the sea. You know, that whole area is filled with so many talented folks. So between the ones that are already there and the ones you're bringing in, there's so much creativity and performance happening, and it's just wonderful to see, isn't it? It's great. We want to be a year-round uh, source for people for 
national and international music. I love it. Well, you know, I'm working on my one-man ukulele show. I, I know there's a spot. There's an opener there somewhere. <laughs> the most uncool show you will ever see. But, Dick, it's always a great pleasure to welcome you back. I love the work that you do. You know how I feel about music and creativity. I absolutely We do. really align there. So Very much so. It's great to see you as yeah, always. Thank you so much, Brendan. Best of luck to you and the team. You are welcome. If you would like more information on upcoming Newport Live events, we have links to them. You can find it all right now at roadshow.com.